Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the morning Hello. of my surgery. Hello. I'm just eating my... My caring husband I'm is going operation. eating his um, cereal. So I'm having my surgery today it's to remove my kidney stones. They're going in with a laser. I'm getting put to sleep. And yes, Jordan's going to melt across, aren't you, dear? Yeah, I booked it in, babe, before you had your surgery thing. No, you did not. Did I not? Didn't you just book it in this weekend, a few days ago? Yeah, but I knew it was on. <laughs> I couldn't book it <laughs> he's, in. He's telling me this. He had it organised <laughs> yeah, before. Organized. But you know what? I don't really care. So he's going... Oh, my phone will be done, look. Oh. I know, that's fine. He's having the boys, so... Uh, someone had to have the boys, didn't they? So... He's having the two boys at motocross and I am going for my surgery with my sister. I got some new pyjamas for the occasion. I got these from ASOS. I think they're really cute. Do you like my pyjamas, hubby? Mm -hmm. Do you like my pyjamas? Yeah, I was about to say they're nice. Oh, were you? Where's my, where's my stuff? Oh, I'll have to get you some. Like that. Would you actually wear pyjamas? No. Well, there we go then. <laughs> uh, yeah, cute pyjamas. So I'll link those below. I've got socks. And sliders on, they did say, can you bring um, a dressing gown? But I actually don't have a dressing gown. I was like, I really don't have one. Um, they're like, oh, well, you can borrow a hospital one then. So I'm wearing a hospital dressing gown. <laughs> I'm also not allowed to eat or drink um, from now on. So, yeah, I try not to think about that too much. Yeah, so let's go. So I'm going to have a laser up into my kidney to break down the stone. I don't think it's gonna to be too bad. I mean, I've had two C-sections, so I'm fine with it. But if you're new to my channel, I have got a quite a big kidney stone in my kidney. I think I've had it for quite a while. It causes me all kinds of issues over the years. So I'm really looking forward to getting rid of it, actually. So we just got to the hospital and we're in our private room, which is very cute. My sister is here with me. She's brought me here today, haven't you, sis? Yeah, hello. She's on, um, well, what's the word, nurse duty. So we're just waiting for the nurse to come in to tell us where I am on the list. Oh my God, sis, I'll probably be last. But it doesn't matter, oh, we haven't got any kids, we've got Wi-Fi. Have you got Hey You on your phone, sis? Uh, no, but I can get it. Yeah, I've got Hey You on my phone. Um, Yes, we're just chilling, just waiting. So I'm all ready to go. I've had the chat with my surgeon and the anaesthetist. Here is my gown, here is my stockings. So I've got a stone in my kidney and around the stone is very swollen. So they think, the well, they don't know whether they're gonna have to put a stent in or not or what they're gonna see when they get in there. So they're just gonna deal with it when they get in. They have warned my sister that um, I'm gonna be quite a while. So, but oh my God, the funniest thing happened. We had a nurse in here and she just come in as I was filming, but <laughs> she come in, oh my God, it was so funny. So my sister's with me and she was like to my sister, who's 30, 31. She's like, all right, mum. Oh my God, we were dying. And she was like, no, I'm her sister. She was like, oh, really? We were like, yeah. She was like, do you get called mum a lot? She was like, no, that was the first time. But oh my God, it was so funny. We were laughing. We thought it was funny. We told all of our sisters and we all think it's really funny. I'm literally going down for surgery in a minute. So when you see me next will be when I've come out of surgery. So I'm out of surgery. It's literally half seven at night and I've had to stay in. But it's just such a long story. <laughs> And I don't really have the energy to explain everything now, so I'm going to explain it tomorrow um, when I feel, like, a bit better. But I've had a bit of a nightmare all day. I've been so much pain. The operation was quite complicated. Um, it's not the end. I need another, potentially, two operations. But my sister's gone home now, and Jordan's come to see me. And I've had a little bit of food. And Jordan went and got fish and... No, no, it's not fish. Was it pasty? Sausage and chips. I'm pasty. Sausage and chips. And, um... Mm -hmm. So that looks nice when he come back. He was like, well, you really shouldn't be eating too much. A.K.A. Don't even think oh, about babe, it. No, man, but I don't want you to be upset. I said I want my a few chips. And he was yeah, like... You a few chips. He was like, well, you really shouldn't be eating too much. And I just thought, I know what you're up to, mate. 
But um, yeah, I'm hoping I'm gonna improve tomorrow. I was really hoping to go home. I was ready to go home. I just had a funny turn. Are you um, ready? Because you had so many drugs. Trying to keep on top of my painkillers because it's so painful. I don't want to scare anyone that might have this done. <laughs> <laughs> but um, just need to keep on top of my painkillers. And as long as I do that, hopefully I should have a sleep, a decent-ish sleep. But I will update you like on all the details like in this video, but not right now because I just don't have the energy to talk about it really. But yeah. So we are now two days post my operation. I didn't really want to film yesterday because I was not feeling great. Um, yeah, I just felt really sick. I don't know if it was the anaesthetic. I'm not really sure. My surgeon seems to think it was the anaesthetic. I feel a lot better today on day two. Like, nearly normal. Um, so I'm really pleased about that. But I thought I'd explain a bit more about the actual operation and what happened and why it took so long. So going in to uh, my kidneys, my surgeon was hoping that it was just a kidney stone and that was the problem as to why I've been in pain for so long. But it turns out that going into the kidneys, the kidney stone was a secondary problem to the fact I've got a something called a PUJ, which means a tube from your kidney to your bladder is a very small. Like he couldn't even get the camera up there, like it was so small. So he's had to put um, a stent in to hopefully widen the tube. Um, there was quite a few stones in my kidney, not just one. So he got rid of all of those. He said that my kidney is infected, which probably has been for so long now. So I'm on antibiotics and I'm on quite a few other medications as well. One to like relax my kidneys while I've got a stent in. I've got a whole bag of medication that I have to take. He also said there's calcium buildup in my kidneys and I guess that was probably what was making the stones because my kidneys just weren't draining properly because the tube had just been too small. And apparently that's something you're born with. Um, it just becomes apparent as you get older, which it has for me, obviously, I've been in pain for like six years, so it feels really bizarre to finally be on the mend. Like, I can feel the stent in my kidney, but it just feels the, the same pain that I've had for all this time, so it's not even like it's that bad, because I'm so used to having kidney pain. Um, I can I can cope with it fine, so that's not too bad and yeah I don't know if it's a medication it's making me feel like a bit you know like sometimes when you take antibiotics they can make you feel a bit sick I'm not sure if it's that I'm hoping that the sickness is going to go today and I can actually eat some food because I haven't been eating very much food because I've just been so sick but I'm really hoping that that'll be better today <clears throat> I've got a really dry mouth as well when I talk and that is because of the anaesthetic apparently when they put the tube down your throat um, so I've got a really dry croaky mouth and that makes me sound worse than I actually am because I actually feel like pretty good but whenever like my mum or someone talks to me they're like oh my god you're right and I'm like yeah I'm, I'm fine it's just I sound worse because of my sore throat so I'm not actually too bad even though I probably look and sound awful. I finally washed my hair as well. So as I've explained, I've had kidney pain for around six or seven years, literally the whole time I've known Jordan. Um, and we've been together, oh God, how long have we been together? Jensen's nearly seven years. So yeah, it first started when I was an air hostess and that's when the pain, like recurrent pain become apparent, recurrent infection. Then it kind of become apparent it wasn't an infection, it was just more kidney pain because antibiotics weren't clearing it up and that's obviously because of the um, tube is so small it hasn't been draining my kidney properly. My surgeon said I'm really lucky to not have any long term damage which I'm so pleased about. I mean hopefully once I'm fixed, once the stent has come out and they're going to do a scan and see if the stent worked to widen the tube permanently then I should be fine. If the stent didn't work, then I'm gonna need keyhole surgery um, to do something to the tube to make it wider, which, you know, that won't be too bad, I guess. So I'm nearly at the end of it all, which I'm really pleased about. So yeah, hopefully um, I'll make like 100% recovery by tomorrow because I have a lot to do this week. I've got a lot of work I need to do. Um, 
I think I will. I feel pretty good today. It's just my voice is gone. But I'm sure hopefully I'll be fine in the next few days. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as you could. I hope it gave you a bit of an insight to why um, I had surgery, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video.